I think this is the part of Australia that we actually forget. And in coming here, you realise that this is an equal part to you know Australia and to the history of Australia. You know, started well before you know white people actually arrived to this place. up in the morning at the break of dawn life is a call in Catherine everyone knows this young fella as little chappy he's the son of one of the elders of a community that is determined to give aboriginal children the same opportunity for good health as every other australian child this is the challenge taken up by australia's swimming champion Children of the sunrise, welcome to this day. Dawning of a nearer has come to play. You are the future, own it as your prize. Our children of the sunrise. You have young children, you know that don't know nothing about what it is to be healthy, to help to have clean water and to to be able to have money for food. You know, um you could say our our community here, you know, wherever it is around Australia, I mean, we still live in third world. A beautiful horizon shines like ripples on the land. Circling a thousand times Children of the sunrise Welcome to this day Dawning of an era Has come to play you Aboriginal children in these remote communities are truly the poorest of Australia's poor. These children are also among the most unhealthy in the world. Out here, babies die at three times the rate of children in our cities from illnesses and diseases like TB, rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease that were virtually eliminated in cities years ago. The malnutrition and anemia here is at third world levels. So this is where it has to start. If we want healthy Aboriginal adults, we have to help these children become healthy. Children of the sunrise, welcome to this day. Dawning of a new... Congratulations. A visit to a school and Ian discovers another kind of silent epidemic here, one that helps explain the literacy rate of just 7%. There is a plague of deafness among Aboriginal children caused by ear infections that were not treated in infancy. Up to half of these children will never properly hear their teacher standing at the blackboard. I believe, you know, um, we're able to do what needs to be done. And we've waited for such a long time and it's come, you know, this is a great step towards what we've always wanted it to be. The remote Aboriginal communities are now facing their gravest health threat since European first contact. But there is hope here that they can walk side by side with other Australians to find a brighter future.